You're watching Explore Tulsa. We got the Pac-Man machine. It's on free play all the time. Uh, if you're able to beat my top score, you walk out with a free t-shirt of your choice. It's been five years, no one's ever beat my score, but you could always be the first. Dads don't always enjoy being down here, so that gives them something to do. Play a couple of rounds of Pac-Man, it's not costing you anything. I feel bad charging people for a game that's older than I am, so just have a sit down, play a few rounds. Mom's done shopping, everybody heads out the doors. Yep, me and my sister started the place. We were, I think technically, the first business to open once they called it the Rose District. Um, but they didn't have rose bushes, they hadn't started the streetscape, or, uh, so it was, we were before it was the Rose District. It was definitely a test to be sure. Uh, we about went out of business about two months after we opened up. They decided to like revitalize the area. And I was like, oh neat, the buildings I love will finally have people like that want to go to them. So, you know, spend all the money redoing the building, getting all the inventory. You're like, all right, open the doors. Let's get some customers in here. Next thing you know, I don't have a sidewalk for a month. And I just cried myself to sleep for like that whole month. I was like, we don't have customers because we don't have a sidewalk and no one can get here. And then after that, it's six months of orange construction cones. And so definitely got our lickings right off the beginning. But you know, once we were able to get stabilized, the district itself started really hitting the ground running. It's It's been pretty good ever since. We knew it was coming. We didn't know how pretty it was gonna be and how awesome it was gonna be. Um, you just kind of had to have faith in the in your town. And I always did, because it's my hometown, you know. If it weren't for all the lead up and all the hard work leading up to it, it'd be, you know, it'd be great. I'd be happy to have a store in here and be taking part of everything. But to be from the very beginning, to watch the whole thing all come together, and it's been, it's just been great. Everything's made local, um, but we have a little bit of everything. So, you know, if you like food, we have barbecue sauce. Everybody likes food, that was a dumb thing to say. But we have um, a big selection of t-shirts, um, like Oklahoma Thunder shirts, um, and then we have what you'd have, some of what you'd have in a normal boutique, so jewelry and candles and soaps and like home goods and stuff, wall art, but just, and it just has an Oklahoma flair to it. We started out just buying shirts from folks. Um, and I've always drawn, not particularly anything that anyone would be like, oh wow, let's hang that up in a museum, you know? Um, but the great thing about shirt making is doodles make great shirts, you know? And you just get all excited because you take what started out as a scribble and now it's something that people actually want to buy. Um, and like that was just like a really cool feeling. We'll do the art if they want us to, but a lot of the time people will come in already have their art ready and tell us, I want this on a shirt, figure out how to make that happen. So from there, uh, we put it in Adobe Illustrator, line it up, make sure all the colors are gonna work together. And then after that, um, we put the emulsion on the screens and then burn the image onto it. So you put it in light box for a few minutes, spray it out with some water afterwards, you get the negative of the des design you wanna make. After that, give it an hour to dry, throw some tape on the edges so it doesn't smear out the side, and then a couple of pushes, bing, bang, boom, ride it through the dryer, you got yourself a t-shirt. It's been really fun. And it's it's fun to like be out, like I call it in the wild and like see people in my shirts. And I just get like, like you just get excited when you see your stuff. I knew I wanted a store down here. Like these buildings are just really cute and adorable. And I love the history of 110 year old buildings. Oh, it's been great. It's the community atmosphere down here, everybody wants to work together. It's a rising tide lifts all ships type of thing out here. Um, you know, you know, not everybody is always gonna buy into what everybody else is doing, but there's a real great community aspect for 99% of the stores.